Hello guys, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at C++ CMake inside the Visual Studio 2022. We will look at how we can download the necessary com download and install the necessary components to get us started. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So basically, C++ CMake is an open source cross platform family of tools designed to build, test, and package software. CMake is used to control the software compilation process using simple platform and compiler independent configuration file. So the native make files and workspaces that can be used in the compiler environment of your choice. So enough of all of this. So let's get into the real stuff here. So as you can see, I've actually got a Visual Studio 2023 open. So to get us started, let's make sure we have the necessary components. So we can do that by uh, going into, if you've opened your Visual Studio, uh, let's open a installer. We can go by clicking on the tools, um, get tools and features. So this will actually open the Visual Studio installer. It's taking a while, so I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing loads, yeah? So as you can see here now, we've got the Visual Studio installer open. So this is what we do next. We look for the desktop development with C++. So this will actually help you build C++ applications for Windows using tools of your choices, including MSVC, CLang, CMake, and whatnot, yeah? So basically, if we click on this, as you can see, you have to get the box checks. I've already, I've, I've already downloaded and installed everything, so there's no need to, get, to, to do the same, I mean, to do it again. Yeah, but once you check on this box, yeah, and you come to, to the, um, on the right-hand side, yeah, you can see that we've got optional boxes that you can check. So if we look inside the optional boxes, there is a C++ CMake tools for Windows here. Yeah? So basically, you have to make sure that you have this box checked. Yeah. You can also do that by coming inside the individual components. So I'm going to show you where you can find it, but I'm going to pause the video first. So under the individual components, you come out um, under compilers, build tools, and runtimes. So here you can see uh, just um, just beneath the C line compiler for Windows, you can see C++ C make tools for Windows as well. So you can check the box from here as well, and you can download and install it. Yeah. So since I've already done that, there's no need for that. But if you haven't, make sure you download and install it before you come up before we go to the next stage, okay? So I'm going to close the, the Visual Studio installer. So here, now we're going to go ahead and create a new project. So click on File and, um, and the Start window. Create a new project. So here, as you can see, I've actually selected um, C Sharp. So I'm just going to on the language side. So I'm just going to select C++. So once you select the C++, then if you've actually been through what we've just gone through in terms of downloading the components, then you should see a CMake project here. So as you can see, it's a CMake project template. So this help you, this will help you to build a modern cross-platform C++ apps that don't depend on the, the SLN extension, which is the solution for the Visual Studio. Okay, so we select it and we click on the next. So here, obviously, you can configure the project details, but we're not going to look too much into that. So I'm just going to click on the create. Okay, so 
we have the project created for us. We're just gonna collapse this a bit. Yeah, so here, let's come inside uh, uh, the project folder. So yeah, we've got this CMake project. Yeah, project three, yeah. And then the out. Yeah, we've got a bunch of text. I mean, we've got a text file and we've got a JSON. We, we look into that. So first of all, let's look at what is inside it. the CMake.test. Okay, so the CMake.test is just uh, uh, the configuration settings for the project, yeah? So basically it's telling where it, um, the, the project is and where it can be run or can be installed and whatnot, yeah? And then let's go straight into the CMake project. So here we've got um, the same text file yeah so this is actually telling where the i mean the version and where the the project is and this just uh to, um to add a source project executable and whatnot yeah so let's click on this cmake project cpp oh man Okay, so this is just a very simple console app for C++. So, so this will be our starting base. Yeah, so, so we can get we can get started from here, and you can start to build your project. Yeah, and it's got a header as well. So let's click on this. So this is the header that is including the IO stream. Yeah. So as you can see, it's not really, it's nothing really fanciful here. So let's look inside the out folder as well. So it's only got the build, build details, but it's nothing inside. So let's go ahead and run it and see what actually comes out of it. So we, if we come here to on our local, we run it on our local machine, and here we can select a startup item. So let's see what startup item that we can select. So we, we're going to select our project free dot executable. If we look, if we look at the, the CMIC, the list, the test that we just look at, we just looked at the test file. So as you can see, yeah. Uh, we just add, we just um, we added an executable, which is the CMake project three, which will run on which will start or the startup will be the C CMake project three dot CPP yeah with the header. So let's go ahead and run it and see what actually comes out of it. So as you can see, it's a very simple hello CMake. Yeah, this is only just to get us started. So I'm not gonna go forever too much yet. So I'm just going to leave it here, yeah, so that we can build on on our next video, upcoming videos, yeah. So I, I hope this actually helped you to get you started in terms of building a CMIC project using the Visual Studio 2022. So if you really, if this video really helps you, please make sure that you like the video and you subscribe to the channel because I've got lots of videos coming up and I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.